stumped by what percentage gel to use. Do you go gradient or eight or 12%? Are you a creature of habit and always use the same one? Whether you're using precast or hand cast, here are four tips to make it easy to pick the perfect gel for your experiment. Number one, use single percentage gels to separate proteins close in molecular weight. Number two, choose a percentage gel in which your protein of interest migrates in the lower half, since this is where optimum separation can occur. Number three, use a gradient gel to separate samples containing a broad range of molecular weights because the large pore size at the top permits resolution of large proteins and decreased pore size in the bottom restricts the excessive separation of small proteins. Number four, if you're working with a new sample, use a broad gradient like 4 to 20 or 8 to 16 percent for a global view. Once you've determined the size of your protein of interest, you can move to the appropriate single percentage gel. Now, if you think there's a topic we should cover, shoot us an email at labnotes at biorad.com. And don't forget to check out our other Lab Notes episodes, Biorad Life Sciences YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel and we'll keep you in the loop about new tips and tricks.